Hey Royal Family, welcome to my General Hospital Daytime Drama channel. I am your hostess, the Daytime Drama Queen. I have your recap for GH episode Wednesday. Now, let's get into it. Continuing from yesterday's episode, we see a frantic Ava Jerome in the park talking with Detective Chase. Ava says that she feels that Avery has been kidnapped. Chase asks her, why do you think that? Ava says because of her father, Sonny Corinthos, business dealings. Chase says he doesn't think so, but he will take it into consideration. Chase then leaves to go join the other detectives who are interviewing Pilar. Ava Jerome takes out her phone. Also continuing from yesterday, we see Sonny and Nina at home. Ned has been found and comes in through the door. He tells Sonny that he did some research last night on the internet and found out that your son is a police officer and that you have ties to the mob. Is that why you brought me here to break my legs? Sonny tells Ned slash Eddie that he knows many people in many venues. He tells Ned that he can help him help him with his music career provided that he has to stay in Port Charles. Sonny then receives a phone call. He takes the call. It is Ava. Ava tells him that Avery has gone missing. Sonny becomes unglued and tells Ava that he will be right there. Sonny leaves Nina alone with Ned Eddie. When Sonny arrives to the park, he sees Pilar talking with Chase. Pilar tells Sonny that she turned her head for one moment and Avery was gone. Sonny tells Pilar that they will get to that later. Sonny informs Dante that informs Chase that he is going to get Dante in on the case. Ava then ushers Sonny aside. She's ready to confess. She says, Sonny, there is something I need to tell you. All of a sudden, a voice calls out. Y'all looking for somebody? They turn around and see Austin Gatlin Holt holding Avery's hand. Austin tells them that he found Avery wandering off. Sonny admonishes her and tells her never to wander off from Pilar himself or Ava. Sonny then takes Avery home. Detective Chase then offers to give Pilar a ride home. Austin and Ava are left alone. Austin says, it's a good thing I was here to find her. Ava pulls back her hand and slaps Austin into next week. She says, you SOB, you set this up. Brooklyn Quartermain goes to see Maxie Jones in her office. Brooklyn has brought lunch for the two of them. They discuss deception and Maxie says that she's in the midst of looking for a home. Maxie gets a phone call and leaves her office. It is an opportune time for Brooklyn to dig into her files. Brooklyn goes to her computer and uploads the deception file. She makes a copy of it on the thumb drive. When Maxie returns, she doesn't see Brooklyn. Maxie then calls Brooklyn's office and finds out that Brooklyn took the day off. She didn't come in. We are now at the Quartermain Mansion where we see Sam McCall has dropped by with Scout Kane to see Drew. Tracy takes Scout outside and Drew informs Sam that he has received three years in Pentonville instead of six months at Spring Ridge. Sam McCall is livid. Sam feels that Drew is being used as a scapegoat. They begin to argue. 
Scout Kane comes back in and asks them why are they upset with one another. Drew explains to Scout that he has done some bad things and that when he went to court, the judge sentenced him three years at Pentonville. She is upset. But Sam McCall interjects that Scout can visit Drew every weekend. We then see Lucy Cole and Martin Gray at the Metro Court. Felicia and, Mar and Max Scorpio drop by. Felicia asks for a drink. Max goes, Mac goes to get her a drink. And Lucy also asks Martin to go fetch her a drink, leaving Felicia and Lucy alone. Lucy tells Felicia that Martin has been acting suspicious as of late and that she would like for Felicia to do some private investigating for her. We then see Carly Spencer and Jocelyn Jacks in Carly's kitchen discussing Drew Kane's prison term. Dry Diane Miller drops by and informs Carly that the SEC has slapped her with a $5 million fine. Jocelyn begins to rant. She says it isn't fair. She tells Carly that she can get some money from her trust fund. Carly says no. Jocelyn then suggests that Michael can help. Diane Miller says that wouldn't be advisable because the SEC would look into Michael's background and Sonny's as well. When Diane Miller leaves, Carly makes a vow to Jocelyn that she will get every dime of her money back. Drew Kane drops by and Jocelyn leaves. Carly tells him, well, I guess it's, this is our goodbye. Back with Brooklyn Quartermain, we see that she has met up with Tracy Quartermain. She gives Tracy the thumb drive containing the intel that she has stolen from Deception. Brooklyn inquires of Tracy how is she going to use the information. Tracy tells her that is none of your concern. Well, Royal Family, that's it for today's recap of General Hospital. Please send me your thoughts, your comments, and your theories to the Daytime Drama Queen, and we will discuss later. Until then, this has been the Daytime Drama Queen saying ta-ta.